speaking for us, I could go on, but I don't want to because the most fun for me in any performance, it, it's, it's great to be up here and entertain you guys. You're a wonderful audience. I love doing this for you. But the absolutely most fulfilling time for me is that period where I am able to share the stage with one of the most fantastic respected artists I have known in my entire life. Mr. Griffin, could you join me up here just for a little bit? What you're gonna get here is something of a preview. If you want to go to the charity performance tomorrow night, you're gonna see what we do. What well, do we do? But don't keep us in suspense. Who's this wonderful, talented artist you talked he about? He can't make it, so I'm hoping you can like fill in. I'll do my best. It's George Conlon, he's dead. Yes, he is, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Well, no, he's not so much dead as he is Next laughing slide. at us from a different yes. location. Yes. What this guy and I have discovered is that if we get up on stage with absolutely nothing prepared between us and just do stuff, people like it. Or at least they pretend to. Yeah. But either way, they buy us booze. Exactly. <laughs> There's a lot so, of people in here tonight. It is. But I still see some empty chairs. That'll be fixed when your performance comes up. Well, yeah, this is a time. We're just going to goof up here. If, yeah. you, if you want to go out and uh, take a leak or leave the bar before my crowd sex. starts, whatever. Yeah, it's, 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 Please go to your rooms for that. <laughs> Not out the lobby. You know, there's one place I want to go. Where's Some that? time in my life. Where? There's a place in Poland um, called Christmas Field, Ooh. where during World War II, that's you, <laughs> the uh, Americans were entrenched on one side, and the Germans, a couple of hundred yards away, were also had a trench down there, and they were shooting each other. They were holding the lines, and they. We're fighting each other, killing each other, shooting each other. During well, this was during World War II. And they decided, it was getting around Christmas time, it was cold. They said, okay, we're going to have a ceasefire so everybody can celebrate Christmas. Well, soldiers are like, what, Christmas? We're out here killing each other. What, the Christmas break? What, really? So they did. Midnight on the, uh, the 25th, we <coughs> firing. And... Uh, one of the soldiers reported, you know, that, that, who uh, was telling the story later, said, yep, we were counting down, firing our mortars off, watching the clock, at that, you know, hit midnight, one more. And then silence. They sat there for a long time. They sat there most of the night. And then they heard the Germans singing Christmas songs from way over there. So the Americans started singing Christmas songs back a little bit louder. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll beat you with Christmas songs if we can't shoot you. <laughs> so the Germans would sing louder, and the Germans would sing a song that the Americans recognized, except they'd be singing it in German. So the Americans would join in with them. Eventually, Americans poked up their heads, and a German had come across the field by himself with a small Christmas tree that had little candles burning in it. Well, nobody shot him. In fact, everybody kind of slowly climbed out of their holes and they sort of met in the middle there and they started talking, sharing cigarettes. They couldn't really understand the same language, but they were sharing cigarettes, showing pictures of you know, their families to each other. And they did that. They, they wound up playing soccer with each other and just chilling out. And, and the Germans would cook up some sausages and share it with the Americans. The Americans would share their beer with the Germans, having a good time. And five days later, the uh, ceasefire ended. Both sides would get back in their holes and start shooting each other. They couldn't do it. They could not do it. They, they, they didn't obey the orders. They, they, wouldn't. they had to wipe all the, they had to send all those guys out and replace them with dudes who would shoot each other just to keep the war going. And there's a, that, that field is still there. It's in Poland. It's called Christmas Field. And I want to go there one day. I'd like to go with you. I want to see that. Generally, that's not the kind of tone that I 
usually take for this kind of thing that we do, but I just felt like saying that tonight. Yeah, it's a and I'm, Yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of a free coming. thought, flowing thought kind of thing. Well, does that mean he actually didn't prepare for his show? Yep. <laughs> so... I knew I shouldn't have been screwing you last night. You needed to be preparing for your show. Oh, that's kept me up all night. <laughs> with the snoring. <laughs> you bored me. I could, I could, I could, I could, I could go to one-liners. I could, we could start doing the one-liner, the, you know, the Billy Crystal, hey, hey, hey. Like, Take my wife, please. Take my wife. But I'm bummed, waka waka. Now we don't so, do that kind of stuff. It's so hard to get any sleep in here. Last night there was a woman banging on my door all night long. Eventually, I had to let her out. <laughs> but I'm bummed. I love one-liners. We got one chair up here. We got fight over play musical chairs, what? I don't know, I grabbed a chair. Somewhere. We got chairs over here. You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> That'll happen at the charity show, and that'll cost you. <laughs> How much? The charity show, we get to fall down, we get to get drunk. Oh, uh, during the charity show, by the way, okay, it was funny the first time. Please don't throw money at us. Oh, God. You know, because it's not so bad here, but in Britain, where the pound coin actually weighs Wait, a pound. A pound? <laughs> and for God's sake, whatever you do, if you wind up being a street performer in Australia, because oh, I know that's likely to happen probably to each and every one of you at some point, <laughs> don't ever have them throw the, the, the 50 cent piece in the size of your fist. It's a throwing star. It's yeah. this octagonal shaped thing this big around. And it'll, that, one of those will come cock it. It'll, it'll, it'll take your head off. You hear it come as like, it. Yeah. Crazy. They were throwing, and of course, then they just laugh at us and. That just makes him throw more <laughs> money and... We're sitting up here bleeding and bruised saying we're making money for charity, but we're dying! What do we do? And by the time you get done with it, you have to scrape up all the money and use every bit of it for your hospital bills. Yes. The Germans didn't do that. The Germans threw... <laughs> the Germans threw unspeakable things at us. We can't speak about it. They used to, and I, I don't know why they don't do this anymore, because I really enjoyed this. The Germans, we, he and I would get up and we'd do performances together in Germany. They would set up this table. The first time they did it, we're like, what the hell is this? And they're like, these are things. things. Be, be, fun, be funny with these things. And it was just a table of crap. It was just stuff. Some objects and food and a basket of things that, weird stuff. and. and We'd go through it and it's like, okay, what do we got here? Um, Swinefleisch. What is Swinefleisch? It's pig flesh. Yeah. This is a we didn't know that at the time, and we're sitting there and just, mm, what is it? We could use some salt. Blah, 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 blah. And, and BBF is over here going, you're supposed to cook it. You're supposed yes. to cook it. <laughs> cook it. Oh. Let's see, what else do we have in the basket? Let's see. Jägermeister flavored condoms. <laughs> They uh, they tasted like Jägermeister. So yeah, we did. We, we blew I them hear. up. We blew them up into these balloons, and and they were they were bouncing them around in the audience like beach balls for hours. <laughs> we were up doing this. It was great. And then they had that one carbonated crap that if if that hadn't if that little cork hadn't been attached to that little metal thing that held it on the bottom, it would have taken my head off. Yeah, it would have taken my head off. It's like, pow, like what, what is this? Help? Yeah, it was some kind of lemon beer. Or something. Uh, it's left off from World War II, that's a problem. Yeah, it's a, it's a booby trap. The trap's a booby, is it? <laughs> oh. So, you've had an eventful year, I've had an eventful year. Yes. I know all of you in here have had an eventful year. I, what we had? We had the uh, BP. We had BP, pissing all over the golf. I, you know, I was, I was watching. Watching the news stories uh, on these birds because there's these birds down there in the south floating around and in the oil and they they had to there was a dude who was like talking about how they got to go and get the birds and get them out and, and he was like saying that you know we have to rescue these birds because they can soak up to two to three times their own body weight in oil and I'm thinking. Throw them back, back in. in. <laughs> Throw the birds back in. Are you crazy? It's soaking up the oil, man. They're helping us. What they're us. for? 
They like it. Yes, bring them out, throw them back in for God's yeah. sake. Let nature fix it. You know? I'm glad they got that shut down. Finally. They, okay, they tell us it shut down. They tell us it shut down. Because it's all a conspiracy. There was a conspiracy <sighs> in Los Angeles just recently. Oh, yes. Oh. Some of you may have heard about this in the news. There was a big conspiracy in Los Angeles. Because one day, <laughs> people in Los Angeles are so stupid. Stupid. Yeah. But, yes. Yes. How many people have anybody here from Los Angeles? For him. Anybody here from Los Angeles? Anybody? From Los Angeles? You, so you know, people in Los Angeles are stupid. And so here we are, a normal morning, on a normal day, where the sunrise is particularly pretty, and a flight, an airplane flight, that goes every day from Honolulu to Phoenix Sky Harbor, was flying in the same place that it always flies, but on that particular day, since the sunset was so beautiful, people looked up. And about two or three thousand of them went, Missile! It's a missile! Called the Pentagon! Why are you firing missiles? And they're like, we're not firing missiles. They're like, oh, I see how it is. <laughs> this is a conspiracy. So that was the big Los Angeles missile conspiracy. Because a thousand dumbasses looked up at the sky and saw an airplane go by. Well, you know what the problem was? It's because of the attempts to control the auto emissions. Nobody's ever seen an airplane in the skies of Los Angeles before. Yeah. Mm. It's the Thunderbird flying across the sky. That's what it is. Oh my gosh. People in oh, general. we have two chairs. We do have two chairs. Two chairs. No, 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 wrong. wrong. No, that's not right. You gotta. It doesn't work right, let's no, I always wind up on his left. Uh, I don't know why. Alright. Okay, so, we kind of talk like that. Well, what we, it's your turn. I've told like 45 stories. And I've been drinking. And you've been drinking. Well, that's what I do. You get drunk in front of Okay. This is my I, okay, I, I have this, I, I have an, an aspiration. See? Alcohol is a preservative. Right? <laughs> I want you to play a joke on archaeologists 100,000 years from now. 100,000 years from now, they'll be combing through the remains of whatever cemetery they're buried in, and they're gonna be like, Jesus, this guy died last week! Look oh, at the water! I thought you were gonna say 100,000 years from now, archaeologists will be combing through the ruins of all this stuff, and I'll be there too with them, and they'll comb me through it. How old are you now? Old. <laughs> Just how old? Old. Huh. Older. Older than a lot of people. Here. Uncle Kage, so he went on a game show when he was young where the grand prize was fire. <laughs> um, um. No, I am I'm older than I look. He's so old, his social security number is four. four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You, giggly guy in the front row, take a wild guess. How old would you say? Go ahead. How old do you say I am? Go on. 47. 47. Isn't he sweet? Would you believe I am 67? No. Thank God, that's a lie. <laughs> One of these days I'll say a big little, yeah, I can say that. Oh, that'll be good. Yeah. One of these days when 67 and then people will be like, and then you'll, it'll be over. Yeah. That, that's when it'll be over that day. I'm sorry, it would be kind of fun. When we, I always say that the running a con ages you. Oh, it does. I think this year's Anthrocon, just as a joke, I might put my lab coat on my dad and send him out. This <laughs> <laughs> takes a lot of... With a glass of wine. Yeah. yeah. No, no, we can't do that because Mama will take it away from him. Probably. And drink it. Yeah, she does that. <laughs> that was the first time I'd really talked to her. What? When she took your wine away? No, your mom. Oh, right. she was trying to get your attention at Anthrocon. Oh, I remember that. I mean, I've done a few shows. She knew who I, I was, but I wasn't yeah. too familiar with her. And I'm standing in the hallway at Anthrocon, and he's being the white, the great white blur. You've seen that. You've seen that guy. Doing things, doing things, doing things. Don't bother. Don't bother. Do stuff. Do stuff. Do stuff. Do stuff. Do stuff. This poor mother says, "Say what you did." Say what you please did. No, 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 no. Say what you did. Eventually, she gives up. And so the last time he buzzes by, she turns around to me, grabs me by the collar, pushes me against the wall, and she goes, let's go get drunk. <laughs> so we did. 
I don't know where I get it from. That's how, that's how I met his mother. I was like, I think I'm on dig this chick. Well, the... <laughs> we, we, we should tell them about the, the little birthday present we gave her a couple years ago. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, we can do that. I was thinking about the uh, laser show, but... Oh, the laser? Oh. <laughs> Tell, tell them about that. The laser, the laser show is more fun than the birthday present. We had this laser show that uh, we used to throw at uh, Anthrocon. Um, it was just a little private thing in the room. Uh, I have a friend who was, uh, he develops his own laser systems, manufactures the boards, the chips, everything, gets the optics, and makes these great systems that, and, and uh, gets these programs and he shines stuff on the wall. What, one thing he does, though, it's not exactly legal in the United States, that's why he doesn't actually make it public, is called a scan show. It's where you fill the room with smoke, and you put the projector, you don't watch the stuff on the wall, you put the projector out there, and you look into the projector. And it can make these solid light shapes at, come at you, and it's really, really cool. Sidebar, by the way, the reason he said they used to do this at Anthrocon is because the chairman walked down the hallway and found it full of smoke. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so you know, we did it. I'm sorry, it was fun, but no. It was fun, and, but but it, it was cool while it lasted. But uh, we called it, they called it a scan show, we called it the yearly Skittle fisting because it was like being fisted by a bag of Skittles. <laughs> With the, the colors. by a bag of Skittles feels like. Wait for my memoirs. <laughs> just, just carry on, carry on. So, it's between, he, he, he shows some stuff on the wall for a little while, now he's going to flip the thing around and he's going to scan it. It takes about 15 minutes to set that up. So, I'm sent down to go get more booze, because we need more booze. So, while I'm down there, I run into Mrs. C. And I'm up at the bar, I was like, well, say, Mrs. C, because I, actually I was a little bit drunk, so it was more like, oh, Mr. C, <laughs> how would you like to go to a laser shop? <laughs> and she said, I would like that. Watch it. Because she was already, you know, let's go show you a laser shop. So... We go up to the laser show, it's all set up by then. We uh, put the tape on the door, make sure, that, make sure there's no smoke getting out. Didn't work. Yeah, it didn't really work. But uh, here it is, I'm standing with me and a friend, and now the show is going on, and it's crazy, people are ooh and on. And um, a friend of mine standing next to me, I don't generally do this, but I know that he smokes. You know, smokes. He, he smokes. He likes, he's a big fan of this. Non-tobacco problem. I don't have a problem with that. Yes, I don't have a problem with that. I think they need to legalize that in California and balance the damn budget. I think they can do it like that. It's, you know, it'd be easy. I don't think I'd start smoking it, but... Oh well. You're not going to rob a bank when you're stoned, you know what I mean? So, so be nice. You don't want to do nothing when you're stoned. You're not going to get in the car and drive. You're just going to sit there, whoa. Potato chips, dude. You know, that's it. So... He's talking to me. Now, Mrs. C is sitting on this cooler right between us. And he looks at me, he's like, you know, oh man, you know what I could use right now? I could probably, I could use some, um, uh, orange juice. <laughs> I'm like, orange juice? Like, yeah, you know, some, some of that good orange juice. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that orange juice. It's like, well, you know, even though I don't usually drink orange juice, this is, you know, right now, this is something I could probably, probably enhance this a bit, don't you think? Oh yeah, it's good orange juice right now. Orange juice, now Mrs. C is sitting there being booted on. Tiny little old lady with white hair. Tiny little gray hair, haired old lady. lady. And eventually she stops, and she looks at me, and she looks back at the other guy, and she said, Are you boys talking about weed? <laughs> and we said, Ooh, yeah. You know, She's like, you're right, that would be kind of good, right? <laughs> My mother has taught me many things, a lot of the things I didn't want to know. <laughs> she still holds the record for the greatest line ever spoken in furry fandom. Hold this up for a second, we're going to get some water. Okay. I'm in the show. Right. I'll, I'll... <laughs> 
that. In Anthrocon 1999, the first year we were in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. Um, of course, we have uh, we we had the the art show segregated. We had that corner over there where that art is. We call it the mature art show. Midwest calls it the cock box. We call it the mature <laughs> art show. Uh, I was walking by the art show and ducked my head in simply for security purposes to make sure there's nobody in there should be, and I saw my little white-haired old mother in that part of the art show. <laughs> and I went up and I said, you must leave this part of the art show. You must not be here. You're a dainty old lady. And she's like, no, I went to look at the art. Leave me alone. And she started slapping me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to look at the art. And I'm following her around and she's looking down like, I'm like, no, don't look, oh god, don't look at that, oh god, no, 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 oh, she's going to the Gideon arm, oh my god, 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 what am I going to do, what am I going to do? And she walked up, she's looking at it, and she said, and I swear, swear, she looked at it and she said, why do they make the penises so small? <laughs> We still got like 13 minutes, people are still out like taking a little bit of sex and all that stuff. Okay, so we want to do this 15 minutes? Yeah. Bird. 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 I like birds. Birds are awesome. Bird the word. Bird is the word. And I am a griffin. I am not a space chicken. Thank you very much. I am not a bird that's half done crapping a cat. <laughs> I am a single species that has a back half that just happens to look like a lion. It's not half and half. How do we know that a lion is not half cat, half griffin? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, this is not even a charity show. I've already got you once. Just do it. Oh, don't get me bad. Don't get me bad. <laughs> yeah. I came up with that one. Uh, that, that one I came up with. You came one up with that one on your own. Yeah, it was such a bird half time I'm simply responding to some of the people who've been comments about my species. Ow, by the way, I heard that. Ow. 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 And you know what? Jim and wanted to be here. He wanted to be here, baby. Right? So, what happened to that bottle of Tanqueray Jim that I brought that had Jim's name on it? What bottle of Tanqueray Jim? I rest my case. <laughs> I should just go to find that on YouTube. Um, <coughs> sorry. I told people I was going to read them the riot app and the cell phone went off. I haven't heard a single cell phone. Well done. Yes. Yes, thank you very much for that. It's, it's very... It's, it's distracting, I think. It is distracting. Yeah, it's like if you're standing up here and looking down and... There's a guy giving a blowjob, so you'd have to kind of stop for a moment and consider that for just long enough to throw off your temper. <laughs> I like those commercials that they're playing in the movie theaters now. You know, our movies don't interrupt your conversation. My favorite one is the woman who gets eaten by the zombies. <laughs> yeah. One thing I like about the internet is they can show commercials there that they can get played on TV. Yeah. And there's this, there's this little, there's this uh, cute, this little unicorn 
sitting on top of this pedestal. It's like a little computer animated thing. It's like in this big testing lab for aircraft. It looks like it. And it's like, imagine this unicorn is your bank account. Now imagine action star Dolph Lundgren is a computer hacker. And he's standing there and, you know, full of the military, you know, jungle. He whips out a knife. And these two buttons come on the screen. It's like, do you allow Dolph Lundgren to manhandle your unicorn? Or do you deny it? And he, the little mouse comes up and goes, boop, allow. And he's like, time for some unicorn of a car. And, <laughs> and flame throws this little unicorn. And the, the, the entire buildup is, protect your unicorn from Dolph Lundgren. Get internet security. <laughs> I like some of the places these things are going. I mean, generally, I hate advertising because there's too much of it. Yep. But at least they could make it fun, you know? <laughs> Although, I've noticed that we have a problem with advertising right here. It's all intrusive. Have you ever noticed in Germany, the only TV programming they have is for porn movies you can get on your cell phone? Yeah. Yeah. And so you turn on the TV, it's 24 hours of, yo, mit dein Handy, yo, nuff, nuff, nuff. It's like, okay, I'll get porn movies on my cell phone. That's all the Germans ever do. No wonder they don't want to, don't want to go to war anymore. Right? That's, yeah. <laughs> well, and that's all, that's all they ever advertise. And I don't know if you guys get any, but there's German spam. Yeah. You ever gotten German spam? It's called spam. Spam. <laughs> spam. Well, if you can actually read those, nine out of ten of them, you know how we have, like, you know, Bomb her womb with tsunamis of your baby gravy. You know, you crap like that. You, the German ones... You made like, that up. No, I did not make that up. I got one like that one. Really? Yeah, Germans, if you read the German ones, they're all about, would you like to learn better English? That's what most of them are. You want to learn better English? Is your English penis too small? Is that <laughs> sexy for the Germans? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know, but that's what it's all about. It's, it's there, all about learning. There's a commercial. I first saw the commercial in Germany, and I've seen it on the internet since. It's a commercial for a... Uh, well, it, it starts out, it is a, a, a German Coast Guard station. Have you seen that one? German Coast Guard station, there's a young recruit. He's being shown around by his, his, his chief, and he's sitting down at the radio, and the radio crackles. <laughs> Mayday, 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 we are sinking, we are sinking. He gets on, uh, hello? This is the German Coast Guard? It's Mayday, we are sinking, we are sinking. Uh, what are you thinking about? Improve your English, da 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 da. What are you thinking about? <laughs> See, sometimes advertising works. Yeah. Right? Like, I'm a Mac. <laughs> yeah, I'm a PC. Should be the other way around. Yeah. I'm a Mac. I'm a PC. <laughs> That's I don't know. I, I don't know any of them. I can't remember them. Um, I'm a boat anchor. I, I don't know. My, my penis has spots on it. I'm, I'm a Mac. I'm PC, and I'm Linux. I can run all three of these operating systems. <laughs> You know they had to change that they, Mac that that started to backfire on them because the PC guy everybody felt so far sorry for him because he was like always losing count that they were starting to feel sympathetic for the PC so they had to make him a jerk. It's yeah. true. It's true. This is a little bit of that. Madison Avenue history for you. No, 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 Another little story about my mom, <laughs> which strangely enough this brings to mind. Why would this bottle remind you of your mom? <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Her first year of friends, my little white-haired old mother, oh. was over there and she didn't speak any German at all. No. She knew Ja and she knew Nein, but she didn't know which was which. She was shy. She knew Scheisse, but that's only because she, like, watches Hogan's Heroes, or right? Yeah. But, like, she loves German wine. And... Votes to my wine. Votes to me, yeah. yeah. They had a bar off to the side of where their pulpit show was. By the way, the German pulpit show... Oh, oh God. Well... Uh, stupid. It's this crazy. Is, 
this guy comes, I'm sitting ready for the pulpit show with intermission, and Joe walks up to me, and what did he say? Well, see, I was actually bartending. They put me behind the bar. Idiot. And I was helping them out. Well, I came up to him in the, in the show, and I said, uh, listen, uh... Oh, Patron, what's up? Uh, well, uh, not to make too big of a deal out of it, but, um... Well, your mom is back at the bar. I mean, is she okay? Is she sick? She, no, she, she's fine. Um, but she won't leave unless we give her a bottle of wine. Oh, God. She wants a whole bottle. All right, let me take care She's of screaming at us. She... I walked into the bar. The other bartender... The first off, there's this giant crowd around the bar. And I push the crowd out of the way. Here's this tiny, frail, white-haired old lady who speaks no German whatsoever. She's thrown herself across the bar. She's got the guy by the collar, and she's shouting, Nicht ein Glas! Ich wollte ein Glas jetzt! Which is, not a glass, I want a goddamn bottle now! Yes. <laughs> Fortunately, the only person in Germany they're afraid of more than mom is me. So I went up and I said, you're kind of my mother. And they didn't give her any. And I took her and she's grumbling and complaining. And we walked by him and she looked up and she went, traitor into a swing out of the She didn't connect because she laughs. <laughs> Anyway, this, this is the kind of stuff we do, although the, the, the charity performance tomorrow will be even better because we will both be so lit we cannot stand up. Yeah, by the end of the charity performance, yeah. we will be on the, we will be on the floor. Something like, you know, the, this chair will be... It'll be like, it'll be like, uh, it's like, do it, do it, be he'll, like, you, yes, down, I, 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 it's, <laughs> remember that, do it, I, your puke smells it's, like my puke. Yeah, it does. It does. That's a freaking amazing. But I can't say freaking because I mean, uh, what are the it, chances that your puke would smell like my puke? Dude, we must be freaking related. It's like, oh God, you're like a brother to me. I love you, man. I got you. Anyway, it wasn't like that. Like that. It wasn't like yep. that. Yeah. But that's tomorrow now. I have wasted enough time up here. The actual entertainment for tonight is now to begin. I'm, I'll just leave all this shit up here. Uh, a man who needs no introduction so he doesn't get one. Yeah. <laughs>